What up, world? So, um, I saw Mordecai. It's the new movie starring Johnny Depp, Gwyneth Paltrow, uh, Ewan McGregor, Paul Bettany, Olivia Munn, and uh, Jeff Goldblum. And it's directed by David Kep. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I think it's spelled like K-O-E-P-P. -P. I'm probably mispronouncing it because that's what I usually do. But, um... He was also involved in, I think, directed, but he had something to do with Secret Window, another movie that had Johnny Depp in it. Um, so they're familiar. And, um, I mean, shit, he was just with Paul Bettany in Transcendence. Y'all know how that went. Mordecai is an art expert, and he um, gets, gets recruited, basically, by the local police to... Um, help find a, a missing painting and it just it basically goes on with there man it, it shows his interactions with Paul Bettany with uh with Gwyneth Paltrow his wife y'all know that Paul Bettany plays his his manservant um Ewan McGregor is like the local like chief of police or whatever and then and then how he comes to interact with like Olivia Munn and Jeff Goldblum and just all the things that he goes through there's all these different characters that want the painting uh, because of something that they think is included with the painting. Um, and then, like, he's, like, going through, like, some bankruptcy type shit. Like, he has no money. Um, and then, I mean, really, it just, it goes on from there. Uh, the story, to me, was was weak. Um, it just, like, like I said, with Black Hat, like, while, while it was a weaker movie, the story still had my attention. This story really didn't have my attention that long. Like, it felt too long. Um, all the, all the accents, man. Like, like Johnny Depp accent was way overdone. Gwyneth Paltrow accent was okay. Um, it was just, it was distracting. Like, I was distracted by how you and McGregor was crushing on Gwyneth Paltrow and not not being a cop. Um. If you want to give props for any part of this movie, I would give it to uh, Paul Bettany, man. Like, there was just like like a, a running gag about how he was always pulling bitches and how he was always like like having sex and shit. Like, I thought that was funny. He was he was always getting his ass whooped, while, as they show in the preview. Um, a, another little character trait, you know, what I'm saying, is his mustache. Like, there's a big emphasis on his mustache, and um. I mean, the, the jokes just really didn't hit. I didn't, I, I probably like giggled, like a, a small little tee hee, just once or twice. They use like, like puke as like reasons to like make the crowd laugh, make the audience laugh. There was like five people in my theater, including me. So uh, I'm not sure this movie's gonna get a big audience anyway. It was, it's just like another one of these roles, like, no, Johnny Depp didn't, Charlie in the Chocolate Factory, Sweeney Todd. Uh, Lone Ranger up his face and like covered in makeup and shit, but it's still like an eccentric character. Um, my, like my favorite type of Johnny Depp, man, is like real grounded. You know what I'm saying? Donnie Brasco, Blow, Public Enemies. Those are my favorite Johnny Depp roles. A Nightmare on Elm Street. How small that part was. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. I just, I feel like this movie just like wasted the talents or what talents left of like everybody involved, man. Just Good thing for Paul Bettany, he got Age of Ultron coming out. I don't feel like it was directed poorly, but it wasn't like anything that stood out to me. Like I said, man, like the comedy didn't hit. The story was uninteresting. Um, they overdid, like they especially Johnny Depp overdid it with the accents and and the character ticks that he gave Mordecai. Man, just he was more obnoxious than funny, man. Sounded like the uh, the little kids in the videos. Like everybody sounded like them little kids. Charlie bit me, and like my shitty ass impression was better than what they did in the movie, man. Um, so in my opinion, man, I gotta say that Mordecai is booty pimples, man. Like don't even waste your time. This this shit was just like a huge letdown for me. Like I laughed at the at the previews, and then like I didn't even laugh at what was in the previews in the movie. Um. Jeff Goldblum was in it for like, like I don't know, like three minutes. Role wasted. Did did y'all see Mordecai? Um, what did y'all think of Mordecai, man? Is there anybody out there that dug it? 
And um, as I asked on my Facebook movie page, man, uh, like, what's your favorite type of Johnny Depp roles, man? Do you dig the the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Alice in Wonderland, um, Dark Shadows type shit that he does with Tim Burton? Or are you more like me, man, Fear and Loathing, Public Enemies, Blow, that type of shit? I mean, I, I won't even keep y'all motherfuckers here, man. Uh, if my theater gets Project Almanac, I'll watch that next weekend. Then the first weekend in February, I'll go see... Uh, the, the Spongebob, Sponge Out of Water movie. And then um, we'll just take it from there, man. February got some dope shit that I want to see, like uh, like Kingsman, The Secret Service, Hot Tub Time Machine 2, and uh, and Focus. And of course, man, y'all know where I be at all the time, man. Also, uh, look out for my movie talk for January. Michael, man, it won't be a full 10 movies, but I'm going to give y'all what I like, man. Peace.